The winds of war were blowing on this hallowed ground. It was a quiet, peaceful place before, and after, the centerpiece from the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial rests in peace now. Through this grass and up this solemn path now steps a path towards healing. The dream has become a reality. Iowa Western helps open the door to decades of reconciliation. special to me because of my military background, but it's more special because a group of Iowa Western students have made their name into that memorial. The day of remembrance and reflection falls on the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Aging soldiers step off, shadows of their younger selves. The UE helicopter, number 532, brings it all back. My hearing is very poor, but I don't need my hearing aids to know they're coming. Absolutely. I was emotional when I first saw the flag, and it'll be, it'll be some tears today. Very emotional. <laughs> it's to me. Huey is just iconic. And, and thanks to Iowa Western, we wouldn't have it without what Iowa Western did. Whereas the centerpiece of the memorial is a 1968 H1 Huey Tale number 15532, whose original crew was found and have come together for the memorial dedication. On regular missions, an average of two Huey gunships escorted a force of eight. The Huey helicopter is such an icon of the Vietnam War that I feel it represents the entire war. All of us crew members would also like to thank Ron, Tom Brown, George Abbott, Lisa Jorgensen, Dottie Berrickman, Dylan Driscoll, we would also like this to thank the students who refurbished this helicopter and for bringing it back to life. Just to see everything come full circle was more than I could have ever imagined. Not only all the Vietnam vets, but the dignitaries, the families of KIAs. I mean, it was an emotional thing. Absolutely phenomenal what, what the guys over at the Aviation Center did for us. Whenever you hear it, it takes you right back, whether you were in country or not in country, because you worked with guys that were. It's the sound of a tearful time, a time of life and death. It's been said, old soldiers never die. They simply fade away. Not here, not at this consecrated cathedral. They live on. Weber country remembers.